Consent calendar, all items are considered routine or implemented early or council action and may be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion unless requested. Anything on consent? Marty? Uh, please pull 7D. D as in Delta? D as in Delta. Okay. Anything else? If not, move to approve the remainder of the consent. Second. Motion and second on the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, great. Item 10. D, a 7D is adopt a resolution authorizing the purchase of cable television equipment in the amount of $144,600 for improvements to the residential modem internet service. Marty. <clears throat> Thank you. So I pulled this item because it's important that as we continue to invest in our cable <clears throat> systems, our, our uh, director was advised that I was going to be pulling this. So. Um, it's an opportunity to get an, uh, a, uh, an update on our fiber installation and how uh, that may be rolling out, hopefully, in the very near future. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. San Bernardo Cable has completed the Shelter Creek project, as you're well aware, Fiber to the Home project, and we have uh, been given the uh, approval by the City Council to move on to Peninsula Place and Crystal Springs, highly dense uh, facilities for uh, fiber to the home service. We've begun the underground work at Peninsula Place and we'll be moving to Crystal Springs uh, within two weeks to do the underground work, to begin the underground work there. And then we'll be connecting customers in about three weeks at Peninsula Place and bouncing back and forth as we, as we get the project done. And that project is expected to take three to four months to complete. Uh, we're, gonna, we're trying to expedite it and get it done as long as the weather holds out for, for some of the exterior work. There has been an interest with the council to do a citywide fiber to the home project. We're well aware of that. We've um, uh, been looking at that op opportunity. We have looked at the costs for that. Uh, I think the council is aware of what the cost might be to do a, a citywide project in the, in the form of about $10 million. Uh, and so uh, to be prudent, we are um, engaging um, or we plan to engage a financial analyst to look at the cable system and uh, our financials and make make sure that we're making a prudent decision to recommend that to the council. So that we expect to do. So, so thank you for turning to me. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So, so we have two, two parts to this. One is the financial analysis that the city council has talked about previously. Um, we're in the process of uh, entering a contract under my expenditure authority to do just that. Um, uh, we anticipate that that work can be completed, if I remember correctly, by the end of January, um, and anticipate having um, a presentation to the city council on the on the results of that, so that you can, as as the director indicated, um, it provide uh, uh, informed uh, additional direction with respect to fiber to the home rollout. In the meantime, staff in the cable department is also working, uh, putting the finishing touches on their recommended um, strategic deployment approach so that we could discuss with you at generally the same time period. The, if um, it, we find our financial and operational way clear to move more deliberately forward, we'll be able to provide you with a game plan operationally and logistically for how and where to do that. So that's that's a timeline. That's the the general game plan. Okay. One, and and this approval of the equipment, what is that actually going to do for us to understand uh, that are not in that world and expertise? So essentially, um, all our channels on the cable television system take up space. They take up frequency and, and bandwidth on our on our network. I'm trying to explain it as simply as I can here. And then some of that is dedicated just to internet. So about eight analog channels are dedicated just to the internet service. So what we're going to do is we're going to compress some of the HD channels that we have. And by compressing that, we're going to free up some more channel space that we can dedicate to internet service. And by doing that, we're essentially going to double the bandwidth available to all residents. Uh, uh, by doing that process, we can d uh, double the bandwidth available to all residents where their modems can attach to different different channels to get to get service, and it's it's a benefit for all modem re, uh, residential service and business service with a modem. Fiber optic folks already have enough bandwidth; that's not the issue there. And but anybody with a residential modem would would, would see a 
more consistent speed um, product, and, and that's why we're doing that. Um, and then we will be coming back again, hopefully in the first quarter, to do uh, to talk about fiber to the home for the city. Okay. Any action on 7D? Move to approve item 7D on consent. Second. Motion second to approve uh, item 7D on consent. On the question. All in favor. Aye. 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 Aye.